Good morning. Welcome to Making Stuff with Chris Dayhut. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a very simple output device. Probably one of the most simple. It can also be one of the most annoying. Uh, this is a little buzzer that I picked up off of Adafruit. You look here on their website. It's a very uh, economical device, less than a dollar. How often is it that you get to say that in this uh, hobby where a, a device is less than a dollar? Uh, but it's a buzzer, 5-volt, breadboard-friendly, runs off of 3.3 volts, as you'll see here in a minute. Uh, it uh, All you got to do is provide it with a constant voltage, and it has an oscillator built into itself to create a 2 uh, kilohertz uh, beep sound. Uh, so it's actually quite uh, simple to use, uh, very effective. Uh, uh, the level of sound it's putting out is quite appropriate for its size. Actually, it's louder than I would expect out of its size. Uh, you do have to make sure that uh, when you get it, there will be a little sticker on the cover here. You'll have to peel that off, otherwise the sound can escape that little itty-bitty hole there. Uh, but if you're looking for a way to alert uh, the user of your device and you want to bring attention to it, uh, this is a great little device to do it. Wiring it up could not be more easy. Here you can see uh, in my fritzing diagram, I've got it connected to GP pin 15. Uh, and that's providing a positive voltage to the positive uh, connection on the device. It's clearly marked on the top, as you can see there. Uh, and then I'm just bringing the other side back to ground. Again, stone simple to use. Uh, looking at the code, we'll call that up. And the first thing we'll do is look at the most basic program. It's just called BEEP. Um, you, you can make all kinds of annoying sounds with this thing, but this is the most basic of annoying sounds. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it. There's not much to it. We're going to import our library, a little time uh, delay in there, and uh, we're going to create our, our buzzer object from machine, 15, pin, <laughs> machine pin 15, uh, and that's set up as an output uh, pin. Uh, we'll turn that output on, it'll buzz, we'll sleep for a second, and then we'll turn it off, and that's the end of the program. So let's just dive right in and give it a run. Not sure if you could hear, hear that, so I'll move it up to the microphone here. Okay, not so bad, right? Uh, you get a little bit of uh, audio output uh, from a very little amount of code and a very little financial investment. Uh, but if you want something a little more fancy, maybe a warbler sound or a klaxon sound, um, I came up with another demo program. Uh, this one will create an oscillating sound along with that 2 kilohertz frequency beeping sound. Eh, a little more attention. That might get somebody's attention more than the straight-up beeping. Uh, code on it's really quite simple. We're just going to go through a couple of for loops um, in a function called buzz a bit. And in each one, we'll go through, like the first one, we'll go through it in 15 iterations uh, with a short sleep, turning it on and off. And then we'll uh, change it up a little bit. We'll go through it five times with a longer beep between turning it on and off. We'll rest a little bit in between, and then we'll repeat that again. And that'll give you that sort of sound. Uh, and of course, you can alter this up to your liking to create a more annoying or less annoying sound. Nonetheless, it's a very simple device, but it's a great device for communicating to your user of the device that you're creating to bring attention to itself. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.